What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and this week I want to talk about if Resident Evil 8 is going to be announced on June 10th. We have a little news up from yesterday. Basically, there was a Twitter user who posted a picture. This was an email sent to them because they're part of the Resident Evil Ambassador program, uh, and this email was sent out to Gold members. Now, this email is in Japanese, so when you, t- you translate it, I'm going off of this article by PlayStation Universe, by the way. They do a really, really awesome job. When you translate it to English, it reads, the sentence being judged appears on the ambassador page the result announcement is exciting now this is again for june 10th which actually could mean june 9th uh, depending on which day they do it in japan and this lines up with inside xbox a potential inside xbox thing where we know microsoft is i believe because of jeff grubb from VentureBeat, who's been uh again we've talked about him in the past he's just kind of come alive and started just announcing all these different things right suddenly he has all of this knowledge i don't i'm not saying that to like insult the guy i think he actually is definitely onto something but He's, he's tweeted out, right, he's said a lot of different things of PS5 reveal event, uh, Microsoft, uh, you know, when they're going to do their inside Xbox thing. So this lines up pretty nicely to an inside Xbox, although that inside Xbox has been talked largely on console, that they're going to talk about the specs. Kind of, again, like, in my opinion, my speculation of what I think it will be is like the Mark Cerny thing uh, for the PS5, how we had that back, uh, was that like back in March? So that's what I think this inside Xbox is going to end up being. Either way, it'll probably still be exciting. I don't know if they would do something like this. Although, uh, the the article, PlayStation Universe, points out that they have given people uh, sneak peeks into Resident Evil games in the past. These This ambassador program. So, it has happened before where they've gotten a sneak peek of the new Resident Evil first. The thing is, if you announce it to them first, if you show it to them first, doesn't it then kind of come out to everybody? Because, it, like, literally, like, it's you know, everything kind of makes its way onto the internet nowadays, but especially something like this. Like, if you announce it uh, there, it is because it's that big. Resident Evil 8 will be literally on every single website, right? So then it's not really an exclusive thing to them. It could be like a brand new, uh, you know, like a control. I don't know what the name is for the uh, Resistance, the Resident Evil game uh, uh, for Resident Evil 3's multiplayer. Maybe it's another one of that. Like maybe it's some sort of DLC for that because we know that they are, you know, uh, continuing basically to update, continue to add to that game. I hope it makes sense. The more I think about it, though, the more I don't think actually that it's going to end up happening. Uh, I think it's very soon, though. I really, really do. We've talk- we keep talking about it, right? Resident Evil, uh, this is a game that comes back into the spotlight for the gaming industry every couple days, every couple weeks, because, again, we we thought a lot of people had said that we were going to get the announcement for RE8 before the end of April, before basically before April ended, and here we are. Now we're, now we're talking about June 10th, right? So now, all of a sudden, it's been a month and a half, and, and again, like you, I, I don't want to go after those people that have said that, because firstly, they've been right on a lot of other things, and secondly, it is how you know they've done things. It is how Capcom has done things because we're at a situation now where the game we know. We, I mean, we know pretty much uh, not necessarily. It's not necessarily guaranteed, but we know as mu- as close to guaranteed as possible that the game is releasing in 2021. So this is a game that's coming out next year, maybe next spring. Now, a thing that could potentially be pushing it off is because it is a year away. We know that games, because of the thing that's gone around the world, we know that games are probably going to be affected that aren't that are coming out uh, next year not necessarily games that are coming out this year they won't necessarily be impacted on what's happened but games next year very well could so maybe Resident Evil 8 is one of those and maybe their plan was to release it next spring and now that's kind of been pushed so then the announcement's been pushed that's very possible I've never really given that uh, thought a time of day I never actually thought of that before but now I have so it's definitely possible that things have moved obviously again what What's happened has really, what's happened around the world has really shuffled up literally everything in the movie industry, even in the gaming industry. You know, it hasn't uh, impacted the gaming industry as much as other things, but it 1,000% has. And I think we're, we're seeing it uh, more and more in general and, and maybe long-term things gaming industry-wise we're going to start to see impacted. So it'll be pretty interesting. I don't know. Again, the more I, I think about it, the more I don't know if that makes sense. Again, mainly just because if you announce it there, like, why are they part of this I don't know what else they get right I don't know what being in in being in the ambassador program uh, gets you but if you announce it to them and then it all it takes is one person in this program to post it on Twitter to post it online somewhere and then all of a sudden it's going to be on every single website known to man and then 
cat's out of the bag pretty much, right? So I don't know if it'll be Resident Evil 8. With that being said, even if it has been delayed slightly, even if it was, say, a spring 2021 game and now it's like a fall 2021 game, I still think we see it very, very soon. I still think we see it by the end of, let's say, Summer Games Fest, or like by the end of August. I still think we'll get the announcement for Resident Evil 8. I feel like it's kind of been pushed. I feel like it kind of has to be. Otherwise, the, the people telling us the stuff, the leakers, they were just flat out wrong. So unless it's that, then it has to be coming very, very soon. And I honestly, again, I really, really think it will. So guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think Resident Evil 8 is being announced June 10th? Even if it's not, do you think it's still being announced uh, very, very soon like I do? Let me know in the comments below. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up. And I know today we actually had two videos go up on this channel. I know a very uh, a, a rarity actually on the channel. But as the next couple weeks, as the next couple months go on, going to be a lot of games coming out, going to be a lot of game announcements coming out. Uh, I do want to cover as many, and I've said this on podcast now, I want to cover as many things as humanly possible. So I'm going to be utilizing this channel. I'm going to be utilizing podcasts now. There's going to be lots of videos going up uh, on both of them, maybe even without notification. So make sure you're constantly checking back to both of these channels. Uh, you guys absolutely rock. I greatly, greatly appreciate all your support. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you all on the next video.